Within ReBarCAD, there is a multitude of configurations that can be carried out to tailor the product to your specification. To do this, we go first into the Configuration Center. Within the bars, we can then change the layers that the bars are put on and the colors of the bars as well, whether or not we want to display the bend, how we round the bars up and down, how we match them together, and also how we want to control the overstock length feature. In the range configuration, you can change which layers the ranges are put on, and if you want to have additional text for staggering and alternate ranges. You can prompt for offsets on the factual range lines, and even decide on the snaps used when drawing a range. The support files show all of the support files that are used on this job. Global configuration gives you all of the above configuration, plus much more. Changing the configuration lets you decide which standard you want to use, for example, Imperial, Metric and Soft Metric. Couplers configuration lets you decide what layers things are placed on. Miscellaneous configuration lets you do more miscellaneous configuration, including writing the settings to keep them. You can configure the bar list through here as well. Finally, we can change the label configuration. We decide what layers we want the labels to go on, if we want to default yes or no for the label, and the height of the text used. We can look at the bar and the leaders where we can define whether or not we want an arrow, a dot or just a blank line and this can be also added to the ranges. To change a label we pick on the label format command. In this case we are going to add a diagram at the end of the label which will show the bar and the dimensions. Once we've done this we redraw the bars on the screen. Here you can see on the end of the label we now have an additional field which shows a diagram of the bar shape and the dimensions applied to it.